Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. So in this film I'd like to show you some of uh, the final modifications we're going to make to our uh, walkthrough. But uh, before we go any further, why don't we just go ahead and see what the walkthrough looks like right now. So if you don't have it selected, I have two different walkthroughs. If you don't have it selected so far, go ahead and uh, scroll down to the proper walkthrough that you want to do. Click on the walkthrough as an element in your screen. Go to edit walkthrough. There's a couple of extra steps here to do that. And if you're not in frame number one, go ahead and type in one by highlighting what's there. And type in one. And you should be all ready to go, but I don't see my options up here, so I guess we're going to have to quit that and come back to it. Yes, let's go back to edit it. And now we can press the play button. So the play button's up here on our play bar, and let's play it. So it looks to be kind of slow for me. I'm going to go ahead and make some changes to this and maybe accelerate it a little bit. Uh, as it's approaching uh, the garage doors here, it's just like really, really slow, like we're walking on our hands and knees. You want to be able to make uh, your walkthroughs uh, entertaining enough and engaging enough that uh, it kind of looks like a person walking through it. So it's a little bit slow here, and then and I, I think it uh, speeds up a little bit on the stairs, so let's see what happens here. Of course, you would be climbing the stairs much slower than you would, and you would normally be walking. Yeah, so the stairs are a nice moderate uh, pace. Stairs are okay. And we go to the front door and then our, um, our walkthrough kind of ends right there. So let's see what we can do about speeding this up a little bit. So escape button. Yes, we're going to exit that operation. And for now, yes, we're going to exit that because we're going to have to enter it in order to make some modifications to it. So click on it. Go to edit walkthrough. One modification you can make is go to uh, the number of frames. The total number of frames is right now at 300. If we want to make this even slower, if we type in 600, double that, and go to apply, you notice that the total time up here is going to change. So it goes from uh, maybe 20 seconds, which is what it was before, to 40 seconds. Uh, so let's make it 150 and see what that does. If we go to apply, so now it's going to be in 10 seconds. So let's go to OK. And uh, don't see our play button here, so let's go ahead and exit it. Click on Add again, go to Edit Walkthrough, go to Play, and see what that does. So it's a little choppy, but it is going through, uh, it looks like um, maybe not quite twice as fast, but go through pretty quick, and then up the stairs, and up the stairs again and so on and so forth. So I think you get a pretty good idea how to make alterations of that. Let me show you one more thing to do. And yes, and yes, we're back to square one. If we want to uh, change this, if you really want to get to nitpick about this and change some of the settings here, go to the 150 up here for the number of frames. And instead of uniform speed, you can make each one of these a little bit different. So maybe ex uh, an accelerator on maybe the first four or five of these maybe make it twice as fast and we finally start going up the stairs maybe back to one again would be okay so let's go ahead and apply and go to okay and press play and I think you'll probably find it goes a little bit quicker so yes here click in that frame again go to edit walkthrough go to play we won't play this at the end but you'll see that it goes a lot quicker in the beginning and when you get to the stairs it's probably going to be a little bit slower so those are some modifications you make there too Okay, escape, yes, click out here on the side, yes, I'm going to exit there too. Perspective, we want to move the perspective around, we can make it a little bit bigger on the side so we can see more stuff. Instead of a hidden line, let's go ahead and do our, uh, for our visual display, let's go to realistic. And go back to our walkthrough again one more time. You could do this one step better. You can actually do a photo real rendering of this as it goes. And I did one of a project, and it took me about four days over Christmas to get this thing rendered, and it still wasn't right. So it does take a lot of computer capacity to go beyond this. So you got to kind of keep that in mind too when you're doing it. So let's go ahead and uh, click on this. Go to Edit Walkthrough. Go to Play. And it shows you a lot more stuff, which is kind of fun. Okay, so I'm going to click on the outside after I do escape. And once you get a walkthrough done, once you have a walkthrough saved, if you go to your uh, application menu, go to export, you can export that walkthrough once you get it done. 
by going through that button you can choose a file name and a location of your choice and this is where you can do your visual style if you want to go beyond uh, realistic with edges and actually do a rendering of it if you got yourself a whole week of time to do uh, go ahead and do that. You can actually do, do only a couple frames to see how it works out. Make sure that your exposure settings are correct. But um, that's how you do it. Now when you press OK, select the file location and name of your choice and you're all set to go.